Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of October 26th. You have another great week. Leo, I think, has been moving forward, at least, and probably feeling a little bit better than they have been for quite some time. But you, you have the Ace of Clubs coming up first, which is my favorite card in the deck, probably the best card in the deck. It, it brings abundance into your whole entire life, not just financially, but it can bring love, abundance, spiritual abundance, money abundance, every, pretty much everything, and, and really allows you to start growing. It's a growth card. It's a very mental card. Uh, sometimes I think Leo can get trapped inside their heads with old, you know, trapped on old ideas and things like that that hold them back. So definitely don't do that. And even, you know, self-limiting beliefs come up this week as well. It's a very, it's a great week, by the way, but, you know, just don't have those beliefs. Clubs represent the brain and they represent they can represent having those kinds of beliefs. So definitely let that stuff go because you have some really good things happening. Uh, if, if I had one message to deliver to you, and actually this is one of those weeks where I could probably do your reading in about 30 seconds with this just as message, is really believe in yourself and trust those past situations and don't keep making the same old mis mistakes. I feel like some of you have probably made the same mistake over and over again. Um, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, jumping into a job too quickly, leaving a job too quickly, making financial decisions too quickly, things like that. This week saying that everything's going to be great. You just have to, you know, trust the situation and allow things to happen. And also, it does also say don't pull on past situations because these new situations coming up are totally different. You have the two of diamonds coming up next, which is you matching up perfectly with a job, <clears throat> a business, a promotion, something along those lines. It can even be a business partner coming in and, and you two matching up perfectly and really working well together and having a lot of success together. Um, but again, if like a job opportunity comes along this week, chances are it's going to be a very good job for you and it will be really helpful. Same with the business. If you're like starting a business or, you know, say you get a new contract in your business, it's really going to help you out this week with this card. And Again, if you have, if somebody comes in, and there is definitely somebody coming in for some of you, um, just know that they would be really good for your business. And don't pull on those past situations of old business partners or anything like that, because this person's going to be totally different. You have the Jack of Spades coming up next. And to me, this represents two things. It could represent that person coming into your life that could be coming in this week. And the Jack of Spades would be great for your business. Again, I'm speaking to those of you that have a business that are, might have a p potential partner coming in. Jack of Spades, he really trusts himself on an incredibly deep level. Um, but not only that, he wants to work really hard. He's an incredibly hard worker, and he wants to become the king of spades um, most of the time. So most of the time, he really wants to become something. So he would be great in that sense. But also, if you look, the Jack of Spades in this deck, he has a blindfold on. I'm trying to get it to focus there. What that represents is it represents that he trusts himself uh, on such a deep level that he could walk around the world with a blindfold on, interact with people, everything. He'd be totally blind and he would still be extremely successful. Um, that's how deep he trusts himself. So it's not like a cockiness or an arrogance that this person coming in would have. It's just like a deep trust in, in themselves, which is very important. They're very self, you know, they're very sure of themselves. And on the other hand, again, this is can also mean for Leo that you need to develop more trust in yourself. You really need to trust yourself and things like that. I'm hearing right now um, that, you know, the message I'm getting is that, like, a lot of you are kind of just hoping that you'll have, like, something happen that will um, give you a bunch of confidence and really help you move forward. And I, I think a lot of you are waiting for that situation. And what I have to tell you is I don't think that situation is going to come. I think you have to create that situation yourself and you have to make it happen. You can't just hope that it's going to happen. That's what this guy would do is that, you know, he would go out and find the situation to give him more confidence. You really have to trust yourself. And I mean, just with these cards here, there's no doubt about it that you will be very successful. The other interesting thing that happened to you was is that these two cards came out together, five of diamonds, five of clubs. Normally, I don't do this. When you know when, when I re see other readers pulling two cards out together and, and saying this card jumped out and things like that, it's just not realistic. <clears throat> They're reading way too much into the into the energy and things like that. Uh, you know, the universe doesn't make cards jump out of a deck or come out together. But I was really feeling both these cards for you, so I, I did kind of break my rules and pull them out together because I think they both make sense. 
Five of Diamonds brings in new jobs, new situations, new um, uh, new ideas. You'll probably have a lot of ideas this week, and they'll all be really great ideas. Five of Diamonds says, now's the time to act. Now's the time to take action, and it, it, because you're getting like an extra push with the Five of Diamonds, kind of like what I just said about really needing to like create that situation of confidence. I, I, it's coming really strongly. Like I feel like Leo has probably been confident at times during their life um, in their job, and it's I'm it's really focusing me on job and business. So just know that. And if you've been struggling in either one of those places, um, I feel like you really need to create a situation where you get that confidence boost um, for yourself. And that's what these cards are saying. The Five of Diamonds, again, says that it's the perfect time to do that, and you have a lot of extra helpful energy. Does that mean that um, you know, you're know you going to win right away and have that confidence boost? No, I think you're going to have to work at it a little bit. Five of Clubs represents multiple paths. So I think there are going to be a, a couple different ways that you could go about getting this little confidence boost, and, um, and you just need to not quit. And I know that's such a lame message, really, but... Uh, you know, you need to keep trying until you get it. You need to like for it's almost like you need to force it to happen is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and then once that happens, it game over. You're going to have a bunch of good stuff coming in. So thank you for watching, Leo. Um, definitely enjoy the week and really try to make something happen. And I, I really think something could happen for you this week. So definitely enjoy it.